I don't want to live a life where I wake up one day and say, I wish I would have tried. Fashion to me is art. I always use that as my hashtag <laughs> on Instagram. Fashion is art, live purposefully. Morning. My name is Natalie Daimi and I work in fashion. Hi Roberta, can I call you back in a few minutes? I'm on the phone uh, with Italy as well. During daytime I work in sales where I sell materials representing about 30 factories from Italy. And then once I leave there, I come home and at nighttime I work in my own business. And at the time I'm focused on custom made wedding gowns. With a purpose. I think every person wants to do something good. And I think a lot of times what happens is that because something is so enormous, we don't even know how to handle it, so therefore we do nothing at all. So I thought, what an amazing way to start your marriage by helping another woman out. The whole idea of this collection is a bride should be able to put together her own outfit the way she thinks it should be. Which one? Ready. Um, I want to see this one, these, these, no, that one more. That if one. you start walking, others will follow. And so I think Two yards of this. Two yards of this. that's my dream. When I meet a bride, when I meet a future client, when I meet a future anyone, my hope and dream is to impart that into them. This is one. That is two. That's fine, two is enough. Two is good. Till this day, my mom was like, but you're so smart. You're a straight A student, you could have been anything you wanted to be. And I always say, well, I am exactly what I wanted to be. It's not like I ended up here because I couldn't get into anything else or because I didn't want, couldn't get into medical school or whatever they think I should have done instead, but it's because I wanted to be in design and I wanted to be create and they don't understand that, <laughs> you know. I was born in Iran during the time where the regime had changed. We uh, left everything overnight basically and moved to Sweden. At the time they were taking a lot of political refugees. I remember sitting one day and I thought, if I die today, what legacy have I left behind? And what is the purpose of my life? This can't be it. Up until that moment, I'd studied chemistry and I was on the track of I want to be a doctor to give back and help out. And in that process, I learned that in order to give back, you don't have to be a doctor. As for what I'm doing right now, I just see this to be a small portion of where I want to go next. I do work a full-time job right now and a nighttime job basically, but this is for now. My mantra is, it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth it, you know. So I sit here at nighttime and I'm thinking that it's, it's gonna pay off. <laughs>